hello 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 so i've been waiting to do this video for for quite a while now and since the final piece of the puzzle just arrived i can finally do this really excited um if i were to show you my screen right now this is a model of a ring that i've done during one of the live streams that i do here on youtube and i found this model to be pretty fun pretty interesting concept right you have the you know the, the regular shape of the ring and you have the two um, horns let's say and i thought that it would be a pretty fun toy a pretty fun thing to play around with uh once it's on your uh once it's on your finger so what what did i do i added to cura i sliced it up and I printed it with my FDM printer just to see if it's gonna fit and if it's gonna be fun or not. So if I were to show you, let's look at it here. Uh, zoom, there we go. This is the model that I got. Not the prettiest one, but really, really works. And if I were to add it to my finger, I can see that it's, you know, way too, way too loose. So that was a, was a fail. Well, it kind of works on, on here, I guess, but well, I, I guess it's a semi fail, right? So what do I do? I go back to Cura or back to Rhino and I scale it down. And also I thought that maybe the, the horns could be bigger. So I printed a second version, right? A little bit thinner. Come on, zoom in. A little bit thinner and a little bit smaller. And now it fits perfectly on my finger, just like that. And as I was kind of talking with the stream, you know, during the live stream, as I was talking, I started playing with it. I started kind of rolling it between the fingers and so on and it became really <laughs> addictive really fun so i decided to make it kind of proper to actually properly do this so the next step was to figure out how can we make this out of metal i don't own a metal 3d printer so we need to go to some sort of a website some sort of a service to do it and by the way i'm not sponsored by anything right so it's just my mm, my opinion, I guess. So I found this website, um, imaterialize.com. I've been using it uh, for, for a while now, but kind of forgot that it exists, but here we are again. And I just wanted to, to show you what they, what they offer, right? Because it's pretty damn cool. So if you create an account with them, you can upload your 3D model, right? And I will upload my ring. Open. There we go. Now it's in here and here I can, it's going to analyze and here I will be able to choose from different materials that they can print with, right? So here I chose steel, 15 euros, pretty cheap. You can also go for really expensive stuff such as, you know, pure gold. That would be 1,800 euros, maybe a little bit too steep for us. Um, but brass and copper and bronze are still, I assume, within most of our budget. So I chose steel. And then I chose what kind of finish I want, right? So for me, I kind of want this ring to be a little bit glossy. So I chose natural polish. But you can go for black unpolished. It's going to be a little bit more expensive, but that's fine. Brown polish, gold, even gold plating, right? You can do that as well. Either way, I chose the natural, uh, natural polished steel and added it to the cart. Um, in like an hour, I received an email from iMaterialize saying that Yo, we can't print this. You have a few, a few problems with the ring. And apparently when you print with steel, um, the minimum, the smallest wall thickness that you can have is one millimeter. And let's switch here. And right here, right at the, come on, focus on it. Right here, those were 
that ridge was not one millimeter. So I went back into Rhino and readjusted it. And then it was fine. Then, then, then we printed it. Um, it took a while, uh, almost a month uh, to do. But by the end of it, I have received the metal version of it. Let's zoom into it. So I have received this. A metal ring. Pretty cool, huh? And it fits perfectly, as you can see. It works nice. And it's as fiddly as the plastic ones. So I'm very happy with the with the result. And I've decided to kind of share it with, uh, with everyone. So if you're a Patreon uh, supporter, you will get the file for for free or if you can uh, if you want to um, just buy it um, I do have an Etsy store I do have an Etsy store that you can go in and order the ring of course it's not going to be as cheap as just getting the STL file and kind of using um, iMaterialize to print it but I, I mean you'll you'll be supporting the the channel right so Try it out. Maybe it's going to be fun. Um, the reason why I am doing this video is just to talk about the advent of rapid prototyping, right? It's been around for a while now, I know, but only now are we really getting the benefit of having these 3D printers at our homes and being able to rapidly prototype like different variations of one thing. And a ring for me is a very good example because it does need to fit really well. And you don't want to kind of mess around with it, uh, printing it like five times in metal to make sure that you finally get the correct size. So you first do it with an FDM. And FDM printers these days are like, what, 200 bucks, something like that. So I guess um, moral of the story is everyone should have a small FDM 3D printer so that they can go through their designs, go through iterations of their designs and get the final product, a precise final product by the end of it without wasting additional money and resources. Really happy how it turned out. And I will, I will see you in the next one. Bye.